Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend. We will together go through using gray satellite data through Google Earth Engine to visualize on maps and look at time series of changes in the gravitational field of Earth in response to changes in terrestrial water storage. Let's begin by going to a browser and searching for GRACE, G-R-A-C-E, Earth Engine, E-A-R-T-H, space, E-N-G-I-N-E, -E, enter. We're looking for the link that says GRACE Monthly Mass Grids Land. I click, I scroll to the bottom where it says Open in Code Editor. One already has Earth Engine, it opens up in a code editor as such, otherwise one can register for Earth Engine. Now we see here, I'm choosing the time period from the 1st of August 2016 to the 30th of August 2016. Let's just use the whole time series that's available to us. So coming back to the previous tab, scrolling to the top, I see we're available from 2002, uh, 1st of April, so we come back here, let's change this to 2002, 0401 to the 7th of January, 2017. 2017, 0107. Well, let's just click run. And to emphasize the changes more, let's change the min and max to, let's, let's just try minus 15 and plus 15. And let's change the color palette in case we enjoy looking at things other than grayscale. I'll do palette, P-A-L-E-T-T-E, -E -T -T -E, colon, square. Let's do um, cyan to blue and run. Right. I think it's reversed. So cyan R is the, or the yeah, sorry, it's not reversed. Cyan is the, the decrease and blue is the increase. Um, great. Let's, um, let's click on a point. Let's go to inspector and let's click somewhere in Saudi Arabia. All right. If I now have this inspector open and I click on series, I'm seeing here the time series of the changes in the gravitational field of Earth at this point relative to the average gravitational pull from 2004 to 2010. Now, if we also go to Inspector, we can see the last, we can see the color on the map is representative of the last point in this time series. Let's open this up a little bit. So we see here it's negative 18.938. And the point that's being uh, shown here is negative 18.9938. Um, so this map is showing us the point at the end of this time series. So again, what we see here in this map is the change in Earth's gravitational field at the time step closest to the end of the time series. So nearest to the beginning of 2017, the change in Earth's gravitational field relative to the average gravitational field from 2004 to 2010. So areas of um, uh, this lighter blue or cyan represent uh, a decrease in gravitational field. Um, the force of the gravitational field and dark blue represent areas of, of increase. Let's come over here to uh, North America. Let me see an increase. Um, one last thing is that we have different bands. So there are different centers computing the gray satellite data. We're looking at one called CSR, but if we come back to the first tab and go to bands, we see we have CSR at GFZ and JPL. So let's look at all three of them at once. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to remove the CSR and do JPL. I'm going to do the same thing again and do GFZ. Now, if I try to run this, 
going to give me an error because this palette is not going to be allowed when we're now looking at three different bands. So let me just comment this out with two forward slashes. Um, run. Before we look at the map, let's just look at a time series again. So I'm in Spectre, and let's click a, a blackish spot. And then click on Series. And so we see the time series of the changes in gravitational field through time from the three different centers in blue, um, red, and, and yellow here. Now what we're looking at in the map, each of them is given a different band color, so like red, green, or blue. So areas that are um, very dark show uh, an agreement among uh, all, the all, all the computational centers of a decrease in areas that are very light uh, show an agreement of an increase in gravitational field. And then depending on the red, blue, or green color or a mixture of the colors showing um, which one is some more dominantly showing an increase or a decrease. So again, we can come over here to North America. Pull this down, and we see an, an increase here. Um, we click here, we'll see a decrease. Yeah, all right. Um, schönen Morgen, schönen Tag, schönen Abend, gute Nacht.